Mmm, that's good. Ooh, that's good, that's good. Everybody. welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video thank you so much for being here and to everybody who has subscribed recently thank you welcome welcome to the family welcome to the family of uh, you know JK you know the space you know um, and if you're not already a member of my space then I really highly recommend that you are because then or you become one chair okay because then there will be uh, a lot more videos for you to consume than just the standard two videos each week so welcome everybody welcome back to another video this time around we're going to be talking about how to build self-esteem and self-confidence especially as an introvert now the reason why this concept came up in a video or for a video is because I got a um, few comments in some of my videos about you know as an introvert you seem so confident and you seem so you know sure of yourself please do a video about self-esteem and building confidence especially as an introvert but then you can use these tips as well as just maybe you're an extrovert but you're shy and there's certain things that you're just like not too confident about and all of that it's fine i think these points are points that can be used for everybody so i'm going to give you the points that i thought of but also some points from having read up and researched a little bit about building self-confidence as an introvert so if you're interested in seeing this video definitely like the video subscribe join the family and let's get into the video so the first one that i want to talk to and talk about is being kind to yourself now as an introvert you would know more than anybody else that we are so self-critical of ourselves where we're very very much acutely aware of what we say what we don't say um, how people are going to react to how we speak or what we say and sometimes being kind to yourself is a great way to start the process of boosting your self-confidence and your self-esteem so this might be with something really really small like maybe you're somebody who's shy to to even just speak to people something as small as saying hello or thank you or um, speaking up when somebody has done something wrong or if a colleague of yours has um, now spoken on your behalf when it comes to your work and they're lying on your name speaking up for yourself is a really 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 big step to you being kind to yourself because at the end of the day you don't want to be you know walked all over but at the same time you're still a little bit afraid of getting out of your shell and popping out of your shell an easy way to start is simple things like saying thank you um you know speaking up when you take your order when the waiter takes your order at a restaurant um being very precise if you want to know what ingredients are in that dish find out about it rather than just saying that oh no i'm buying the soup and i'm hoping that it doesn't have nuts in it yet you have a nut allergy can't do that can't do that um so but be kind to yourself small little increments and when you do speak up for yourself and when you do say something or do something out of the ordinary in, in terms of what you normally would do give yourself a high five man pat yourself on the back tell yourself you know what oh my god i did that today like I literally spoke to the petrol attendant and we actually had a conversation about the electricity situation. I did that. I never speak to people at all, period. And I did that mental clap and mental high five because you've done something good and actually actively choose to do so each and every single day. Okay? Okay. Is everything is a choice, okay? And I know that... Um, whew, it's really, really hard as an introvert to kind of make the establishment that, oh, you know what, um, I don't, yeah, I know I could go to the party and meet new people, but I really don't want to go. Like, I'm going to be weird and I struggle with social anxiety and all of that, so I guess I'm not going to go. But I really do want to make new friends, but mm, I guess I'm not going to go. Everything is a choice. 
If you don't want to go to the party, don't go to the party. But you have to break out of your norms and your typical things that you would do each and every single day in order to build that confidence and that self-esteem. It's going to be hard the first time around, second time, third time, maybe even fifth time. But the more you choose to do it, the more you choose. I hate going to events. Okay, I don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I struggle with social anxiety extremely. But I also tell myself that I am in this space, right? I am going to get invited to events. Certain ones I will not go to. I remember with the Sip Smith event, if you watch my last vlog, you'll know about that event. I actually asked, and you can do this, I actually asked the people who had invited me, how many people roughly are going to be present at that event? Because I know that the more people that are there, the more uncomfortable I become. So when the girl said, ah, no, maybe around 20, 30 people, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I can do that. I can do that. I can do 20, 30 people. But catch me outside at a concert of 5,000 people. I can't do it. I can't do it. I get paranoid. I overthink it. I do a lot of things. I don't. But... The point I'm trying to make here is that everything is a choice. If you want to change the system or the way of things, the regimen that you have developed around your personality, your life, and all of that, if you want to change it and build your self-esteem and self-confidence, everything is a choice that you have to make. You have to choose to go to that work function. You have to choose to speak up in that meeting. You have to choose to say no it, even though you know it might hurt somebody, you have to make that cognitive choice that, nah, this is what I'm going to do, or yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Everything is a choice that will lead to future progression in terms of your self-esteem and your self-confidence. The next thing that I found from reading online a bit about this is, and I found it to be actually so true, acknowledge that you are afraid. It's okay to know that, you know what, I'm scared. I'm scared to speak up. I'm scared to, to, to tell them that they're wrong. I'm scared to speak up for myself when somebody is speaking ill of me. I'm scared to correct my boss. I'm scared to speak up in this meeting, that kind of thing. Acknowledge that being afraid is normal. It's okay to be afraid. If you do not actually make that acknowledgement that, you know what, I'm actually afraid, you're going to live in this box of, ah, no, I'm just, I'm an introvert, you know, so this is not what we do. You know, I'm an introvert. We don't, we don't, we don't do things like parties and big crowds and speaking up at events or engaging in conversations at parties and all of that. Yeah, it's just, we don't do it. And then you speak yourself or you talk yourself into accepting that that's cool but the adverse of that is that yeah you can speak yourself into accepting that that is cool or talk your, yourself into accepting that that is cool but the the adverse of that is that how are you going to build your self-confidence because you need to kind of break out of that shell by acknowledging that yes i am afraid but i choose to actually try and, and do it differently this time around. I, it's a choice on my part. If you don't speak up for yourself or acknowledge the fact that, you know what, I'm afraid with this, it's not going to help. So acknowledge the fact that it's okay, I am afraid, and that's normal. That's normal. Excuse me. Acknowledging that you're afraid helps you identify the deeper root or cause behind your fear and that can help you in creating the steps moving forward in order to build your self-confidence so you have to identify you know how in therapy they'll always say you have to identify that you're grieving are you aware that you're grieving you know no i'm fine whatever whatever i made peace with whatever whatever you have to identify make the acknowledgement so that you can you know break it down even further and find the deeper root cause of why you are afraid and when you do that then it makes things a little bit easier going forward because then you can identify what it is and work on um uh changing that so that you can become more self-confident and have a higher sense of self-esteem this one I think is a pretty obvious one. If you really, really struggle, especially as an introvert and with self-esteem and confidence and all of that, 
read self-help books. Read self-help books that are centrally focused on building self-esteem and self-confidence. Now, I don't really read that many self-help books, so I can't really recommend um, that many, but I'm sure that there are tons of self-help books that help when it comes to building confidence and building self-esteem. So you have to actually take the cognitive choice to say, right, you know what, let me read into it, let me see what I can do better, and these are people who are qualified to write about this kind of stuff and not just your your normal old Joe Gatleo who's going to be like, oh no, do this, do this, do this, and then whatever, whatever. I'm just giving you something that I know that can possibly help or things that have helped me before. So also read self-help books that centrally focus on building self-confidence and building self-esteem. Those will help you also go a long way when it comes to uh, boosting you up a little bit more. Now this one is one that I've also had to learn and I'm currently unlearning and uh, doing a really good job at it now, now that I've been back from, you know, um, the facility and been seeing a therapist. Stop apologizing. And I talk about this in one of my introvert podcast episodes. Stop apologizing. Apologize less. Okay, listen, if I could get a 10 rand for every single time I apologize, I would be a, millen a millennialaire. I'd be a millennialaire and I'd be a, a, a thousandaire and, and a gazillionaire, really. At the, at the rate I've always apologized to people, even when I knew that I don't have to apologize. Sometimes you don't have to apologize for being hurt. You don't have to apologize for someone, you know, they slammed the door into you. But here you go, so, oh, sorry, sorry about that. Man, they slammed the door into you. Why are you apologizing? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to apologize for feeling the way you feel. You're allowed to feel the way you feel. You don't have to apologize when you know that what they are feeling has nothing to do with you. You've expressed yourself. So apologize less. It really is so important to learn. This is one of the most fundamental things that I feel like one should learn to do. Everybody, introverts or extroverts, ambiverts, whoever you are, apologize less. There isn't a need to constantly be apologizing, even though you know that you didn't do anything wrong. That person bumped into you at the traffic light and here you are going i'm sorry why what are you sorry for oh i'm so sorry about that oh i'm sorry i'm sorry uh, i'm sure i must have ruined your day i'm sorry that person ruined your day what are you talking about you know what i'm saying so learn to apologize less it really helps in building your self-confidence and your self-esteem because then you know that no i don't have to I don't have to apologize. Why am I apologizing? I don't have to do, I didn't do anything wrong. And that helps build you in terms of your confidence as well. And people, basically because then people don't walk all over you. They don't. Because you know when to call them out. When shit hits the fan, basically. And I think the last one that I'm going to mention is realize that the world owes you nothing. And I spoke about this in the chat of the 35 things that I've learned in 35 years. Realize that the world owes you nothing. No one owes you kindness. No one owes you loyalty. No one owes you to be nice to you. You know, people don't owe you anything. No one needs to be nice to you for what? They don't need to be nice to you. No one owes you any of that kind of stuff. And once you start acknowledging that, that, that makes it easier for you to know that everything that you want to achieve or everything that you want to build or, or building your self-confidence, building your self-esteem, getting into new friendships, relationships, finding love and all of that, you have to work on that. You have to work on it. You have to work for it. You know, you want to be a CEO, you got to work for it. You know, you want to be, um, I don't know, you want to be the best architect South Africa has ever seen, you got to work for it. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you have to work for it because no one owes you anything. Not your parents, not your sisters, not your brothers, not your colleagues. No one owes you any form of kindness. And once you realize that, you realize that, you know what, yeah, they don't and neither do I. I don't owe anyone anything, but... I have to work for all the things that I want to achieve. So everything is a choice. 
leans back to what I said about everything is a choice. So those are some of the pointers that I came up with. There's a lot more about, you know, letting go of perfectionism. And there's just a lot, lot more. Read up about it. Read some self-help books on self-confidence. Yes, I may come across as very confident. I am confident. Don't get it twisted. Okay. I am quite confident, but there are moments where even my self-esteem is just like... <laughs> Uh, social anxiety has me or anxiety has me and I'm not as confident and I would rather shrink away but a lot of the time these are things that I've had to learn along the way that you know what stop apologizing choose to meet new people choose to step outside of your shell choose to speak up for yourself that kind of thing so I hope this video helped and if it did help can we please try and get this video to over a thousand likes i would love that thank you very much and if you did enjoy this video there's a lot more content like this on my channel you just need to look through my channel and watch my videos there's a lot of there's a series that i had on my channel a while ago called motivate and empower which is the me series and i talk about a lot of things with regards to self-confidence and you know empowering yourself and motivating yourself as a person so really would love for you to check those ones out as well until the next one i am gonna go feel like i've been talking for a minute now and i'll see you guys in the next video until then sayonara <laughs>